All right, good morning, guys. James here, aka the Pump, and of course, today is time for a review. So we're gonna look at a water base today. We looked at this brand before. We were kind of impressed. We're rather more just um, interested, more interested than actually impressed, but. The product was good and we were able to style off it. And so we're looking at now at the heavyweight um, variation. And that means today we'll be looking at JS Sloan Heavyweight Brilliantine. So why they call it a Brilliantine, I don't even know. It's uh, Brilliantine is more like a hairdressing in terms of that. But I guess they wanted to use a name that was like unique, I guess. Or have like a different feel to their um, to their brand when you kind of label the product. So that's probably the biggest reason why they chose that. But as you guys can see, it comes in the same exact jar as the medium weight. This is a four ounce jar, brown tinted plastic. You have branding on the front, ingredients on the back. You have the strip of paper that is common to all their um, pomades. So you also have the designation of heavyweight here, and that is the only designation of the heavyweight variation. Opening it up, it is actually the same exact thing as the medium weight in terms of the color. So you do have a pink, nice pink tone, and it looks like we do have mica crystals, which you guys should remember from the Bonafide Fiber Pomade review. Um, the only one that actually changes color, or not changes color, is a different color, is the lightweight, which is like a nice white. Um, but either way, this is the heavyweight, and let's go ahead and get started by kind of using the product. So, I made a lot of comparisons between this product and the Bonafide Fiber in terms of the texture, and so I can't help it but also make um, comparisons back to Bonafide Fiber. Because they both feel like I say like just like stale honey like they're sticky and like when you peel them apart you see all these like little like strands of like sticky fi fiber or not fiber I don't think this would be fiber I was curious whether this one had fiber in it even though it doesn't say it but I'm pretty sure it doesn't um, sticky strands of like pomade and this is really different from what we're used to because we're used to like some sort of like I say jello like product but now we're facing like a more very sticky honey like pomade water base let me make sure I mentioned that of course so yesterday I applied it to pretty dry hair that was a little bit painful so I made sure to kind of have my hair a little bit more damp today so I can really make sure to apply it get it down near the roots to provide that foundation for my pompadour. But yeah, I mean, it applies exactly like bonafide fiber. I mean, it's not impossible, it's not gonna be too bad, but it's still a lot more difficult than I feel that it needs to be. Like, if I'm gonna, if it's gonna be a pain in the ass to apply my product, like the product better give me some fucking amazing like pompadour, or like some amazing height or strength. If it doesn't, then, like, there should be no reason for it. And also, I'll be right back real quick. Also, there are extremely strong pomades out there like Admiral, which don't apply um, all difficult. Like, they're really easy. They're actually softer than any other pomades. So, I kind of like at this point, there shouldn't really be any good reason for a pomade to be difficult to apply. I definitely like have like the scent kind of going all about me right now. It's like a strange. It's like a floral type of smell. It's like it is clean, but there's like some like tanginess to it. So it's like I say like a tangy floral.
All right, so with my hair all slicked back, I'm gonna go style it. So, again, I'll be right back. Damn, that was so <laughs> frustrating to work with. Like, there's some like weird, I mean, for lack of a better word, there's like some sort of like dryness or like powderiness to um, the way uh, J.S. Sloan feels in the hair. And it's not in a good way, like how it is was uh, how it was with for um, like V76 V rated natural wax. Like that one had like a graininess that actually made styling really easy. But this one, it's like you gotta wet comb it because your hair gets all like sticky and it's like sticking to the comb, which causes a lot of like stray hairs. So you gotta wet comb it, but also. I feel like the heavyweight was an increase in stickiness, not in actual strength or something like that. And the stickiness isn't good for like, control really at all. But not, like either way, I was able to eventually style like a pompadour, good enough to go out. But it was actually pretty frustrating. Um, so as you guys can see, my sides are held down like moderately well. Eh, not too bad. My tapers, like my taper and... A little bit like over here and stuff like it is sticking up a little bit um, the part is made hard sharp and straight wow that is a nice part I'm too good and like the pump itself is actually pretty square and blocky mostly because this pomade didn't have the strain for me to kind of bring up the middle I guess and like I kind of had to just get everything to like a medium like height and that's like as best as I can get it so yeah I mean yes this product is good yes it like works and stuff like that but I don't I'm trying to figure out what it can offer that no other pomade can offer or other pomade can offer and even do a better job than this one so I mean, we'll see how it fares throughout the day. Maybe it'll be like a super like enduring like um, pomade, or it'll be super like restylable. But I mean, as far as I'm aware, it's been drying like any other pomade, hardening up, and it gets really dry. Not crusty, but it gets really just like dry. So I mean, the texture is like stale honey. It's pretty sticky. Application is possible. It's like not too much of a hassle to do it but it is more of a hassle than it should be or it needs to be um the slickness is like and eh, like the, the palm is just so damn sticky yeah it keeps like the hairs together kind of but you still got a comb you still got to work with it and then with such a sticky product you're like as you comb through it if you're not wet combing it like ru you're ruining your own hair because of how sticky it is um, the shine is like moderately okay. It will go away throughout the day. You can trust me on that. And the strength, the strength is honestly like the same as the medium weight. The heavy weight, the only difference is like it's a little more sticky. That's that's what I that's what I've experienced so far. But yeah, so I'm gonna go to work now and I'll tell you guys more about it when I get back and we'll kind of see how it fared throughout the whole day. So other than that, have a good day and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back from work now. I mean, I just got back. I know it's not that late in the afternoon, but I'm going out with some homies tonight, so I won't be able to kind of do this review later on tonight. So let's go ahead and go over it now. Um, to be honest, shit, it actually surprised me. The endurance actually did really well. Restyleability, of course, is still like very difficult. You need water, but it's like not even worth the hassle of trying to even restyle it. But unexpectedly like it did a good job just maintaining what I had walking out the door in the morning so kind of restyling wasn't a necessity at all so that was really good but is it crusty like hell yeah like that's just how it is with JS Sloan so I mean you do get a nice locking in future and I do know some of you guys a few of my readers do see the bright side or like the um, the benefits of a locking in pomade and so this is one of those things so like all in all overall like JS Sloan is good like the heavyweight I still 
can't really tell much of a difference between it and that medium weight. I mean, yeah, it has a, like a little bit more hold, just barely, but it's still essentially the same to me. Um, but yeah, no, it's still a good, good product. But if you guys are looking for a product that's similar to it, that's uh, at least is more different at least, um, Bonafide Fiber is an option. We talked about that yesterday or two days ago in the review. But if you guys are actually looking for a strong pomade that you won't have to sacrifice like the applicability and the texture, definitely Admiral. By far the greatest like strength to weight to like texture like benefits ever like you got a super soft product yet it is super strong and high performing and all these of course are available from top shelf barber supplies and at the lowest price you'll find anywhere basically so yeah i mean hope you guys got something out of the review for heavyweight brewing team by js sloan and other than that have a good uh, thursday night guys and take care